Got a chain. Oh, these are so nice. These are. You see these? Sleepers. Absolute sleepers. Perfect. Hello broskies and welcome back to another edition of Buy or Buy. And if you're new here, I'm Erkin and this is the life of a broski. Where of course I bring you sneakers, lifestyle and more waffle than Captain Birdseye. Now yes broskies, we do have a slight change of scenery. And of course, like that sign says behind me, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so you keep up to date. Anyways broskies, enough with the waffle. On today's episode, I am reviewing the Mizuno Mondo Control OG. So broskies, me being the 90s baby that I am. Anything that reminds me of growing up in the 90s, I'm always going to be attracted to it. And Mizuno was actually my first, yes, my first ever football boot that I ever put on. I remember my uncle buying them for me as a wee little kid. And I actually had a big greenery outside my house. So I put them on, thought I was David Beckham, and I was just practicing kick-ups, free kicks, and shooting. So just because of that, I'm always gonna have a soft spot for Mizuno as a company and as a brand. And some of the retro runners that they are bringing back out are actually pretty saucy. So Mizuno have re-released this mid 90s retro runner. And even though this was first introduced in 1995, it does come with some upgrades. It actually includes those interchangeable Mizuno logos. And in the box, you get black, green, and pink. And being the geezer that I am, I've actually changed them up and put pink on the right trainer and green on the left. And they also come with spare colored laces. Alongside the black ones, we have those green and purple. And of course, I've had to switch them up too. Now this black and purple syrup colorway to the Mondo Control OG contains that dynamic foot counter technology, which is very supportive to those arches on our feet, which in theory is meant to reduce injury. So the majority of the upper consists of this light breathable mesh material alongside those Nubuck overlays. On the lateral side we have that Mizuno branding towards the forefront and also on the overlays just underneath the logos. On both the medial and lateral side is that black suede panel. Those mesh purple underlays and also around the collar and inside the sneaker really does give it that 90s vibe. We also have that Nubuck finish to the lacing system with that sports finish to the tongue and the collar in what seems that neoprene material. So going around the heel counter, we have that new buck material and stitched on top of that is that Mizuno logo in black. We also have a pulley right at the top, which is also attached to that leather strip around the top. At the bottom of the heel counter, there is that solid TPU structure to give you that extra support on your ankle, which is also on the medial and lateral side. And we have that EVA foam on the midsole to add to that comfort and cushioning. And going to the outsole, we have that purple finish, which again has that 90s vibe to the shapes used. So broskies, that is my first look at this retro runner. They do say we are a slave to our nostalgia and as scary as that is, it is also very true. But broskies, I'm not complaining. The styling to this sneaker, the colors, and also the use of these shapes, it just screams the 90s. So I did see them on SNS, which is sneakers and stuff, and they do retail for £140. But I managed to pick them up for £63 in the UK, and I just had to do it. It was a very good bargain for that price, and it is also very different to what's out there. And this sneaker was actually the foundation to the Mizuno Wave Rider, which was a very popular running sneaker in the 90s. Now there are a few other colorways on the market but I just thought the blend of the black and the purple alongside the grey and the white it just did enough for me. And the shape of this silhouette really does remind me of Nike's Harachi silhouette. And we all know how popular that sneaker is. But this sneaker does stand on its own.
sewn very well. Now, when it comes to the sizing of this sneaker, I got my normal size nine UK and they fit just fine. So I would say these are true to size. Now, of course, this being a 90s running sneaker, comfort should be a priority. And I've got to say, this does not disappoint. The neoprene material just hugs your foot around the collar alongside that mesh upper. And not to forget the comfort and cushioning of this EVA midsole alongside that dynamic foot counter technology. It does so much different to what's out there at the moment in terms of the support on your arches and how well it contains the impact from when you're running to even walking. And what I found very cool inside the box, it has that sort of demonstration to what I'm talking about. So in the diagram, it says the neoprene material is the internal sock fit system. And then it points to the toe cap, which is covered in that new buck material. And on the bottom, there is that dynamic foot counter. And underneath that is that high responsive material, which of course is responsible for that impact reducing technology. And last but not least is of course, Course, the EVA midsole. So that's all in theory. It all sounds good, it all looks good, but in practice, on foot, does it live up to the marketing? And I've got to say yes. Like I've mentioned, they're very different on foot in terms of how they feel. Of course, in a good way, but also very supportive and very comfortable. Some brands and some sneakers, when they try and implement that arch supportive system, is such an uncomfortable feeling. But this just gets it spot on. So the score I'm going to give for comfort out of 10 is a solid nine. Now, of course, this sneaker using those breathable mesh panels on the upper, it would be rude not to talk about breathability. And this being the revival to the OG 90s runner by Mizuno. The ventilation on this sneaker is right up there. When some brands and some sneakers add to their breathability, they also have to sacrifice that structure on the upper, which means there isn't much support on your foot when it comes to the flexion and just in general running or walking. But those new buck overlays really help in terms of keeping the structure nice and secure whilst letting the mesh panels do their job in terms of breathability. Not really much to complain about. Out of 10, I'm going to give an eight and a half. The only very slight thing I'm going to say is that thick neoprene system is obviously there to support your foot, but it holds back that ventilation very slightly. But that's just me nitpicking, not much of a deal breaker by any means. It's just something I noticed. So broskies overall, is this sneaker a buy? or a buy. I feel like you know where this is going. I really can't believe this sneaker hasn't gotten the shine that it deserves. The 90s retro runner vibe, that sensational nostalgic look and feel, the extra goodies that it comes with. And of course, if you can pick it up for the sale price that I did, it really is a no brainer. Would I use these for running? I'm not so sure. It's really got that lifestyle sneaker vibe. But of course, if you wanted to use these as a running sneaker, it's got all the attributes to not disappoint. I'm a massive fan, big, big fan. Mizuno, hats off to you. And no, I'm not gonna take my hat off because my hairline is way back like when the sneakers first released. So broskies, I am of course going to give a buy. A definite sleeper in my opinion. But broskies, let me know what you think. Are you a fan of Mizuno as a brand? Are you a fan of this silhouette? Or are these new to you? Leave all your comments down below and of course, I will be pinning the best one. Anyways, broskies, that's enough from me. I do hope you liked this video. But as always, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, and of course, until the next episode, take care.